A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts, I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we can use science with the real world. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature, with mere signs, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. Reality is... The point cannot be explained in words. trying to put you down. It's an expression of you as you are. One must live. We need to survive. To go on. We must go on. Bayou Bank in Avenue, Louisiana, and I was walking, and I heard the beautiful, beautiful sound. Not that, that, that sound. Don't worry about that sound. This beautiful sound of muscle, just whipping, just whipping over there. It's not over there right now. It's actually right here by me. I got some video. You'll see the video. You saw the video already, probably. That's why you're here. And I need to know more about said vehicle. By walk, by scout. Not, not the earth. It's, it's too high and there's too many flies for all that. But I scoured the, 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 the parking lot and I 
I found it. I found. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Kevin from Rentspec. I'm uh, out out of Houston, Texas. We're out at Grid Life, drifting our uh, our C6 Corvette. And you say C6 like this? This was a bad bitch. Get it! Get it! So, what made you drift a Corvette of all things? Not a 240, not a RX7, not a Supra, a Vet. Um, I had an E46 prior to this. Someone told me that these drive really good, so I tried it, and indeed, they drove really good. So I bought one, and now we're here fixing it. I mean, driving it. <laughs> sold this E46. Sold, sold my E46. You sold your E46. There's a lot of E46s and E36s out here, too. And that's also a really good car, too. <laughs> so, how much horsepower are you putting down to when they're working the wheels? Uh, currently 500. So, so firing, this already weighs around 37, 3600 pounds. So don't get me lying to you. Don't get me lying to you? It weight and it has the paint. So, it has AC, it has everything. No, they're actually like <laughs> just over 3,000 Yeah, I, I think they're like 32 or something, but again, don't quote me. <laughs> I'm not even going to get lying to these people. Alright, all right. <laughs> so how long have you been drifting? Um, I started drifting in 2011, so if my math is correct, probably nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Uh, we won't even budget how many tires have been lost, <laughs> how many clutches have been burned. Uh, but what, what got you into drifting? What, what inspired uh, you to do a car at 100 miles per hour just sideways with smoke bellowing from the back? Well, I used to street race Honda Civics because I thought I was the coolest kid around the block. Uh, and then naturally got caught racing and I figured I needed something to do not illegal. So uh, a buddy actually lost a race to him that night. Uh, said, hey, come out, watch us drift. So I came out and uh, bought a 240 shortly after that. And it's, we're here now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everyone I've talked to that has all the same background. They all were street racing Civics. Like, y'all really were out here doing the Fast and the Furious without the spoon engines. Like, <laughs> so what What inspired also this we're done through this paint scheme. Um, so I, I own a rap company, again, out of Houston, Texas. Um, so we were like, hey, we need to get a little bit of attention. And we come out and we do all these cool events like grid life. So we need something that is photogenic and, you know, gets attention and whatnot. So, I mean, it's and what stuff. And what better way to advertise your stuff by throwing it sideways with smoke? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's worked out really good for us. Now, one question I do ask every, pretty much I've asked every drifter here today is, with drifting has evolved so much from back in the days with Suchia and the Drift Bible where you had cars that made about 240 to 300 horsepower at limited angle, to now 1200 horsepower with redonkulous angle. Drifting has evolved to a point where we're almost at a Group B era of drifting with cars making so much power that, have we lost the essence of drifting? Uh, I don't think we've lost the essence. It's a, it's a totally different style. You still have your, your guys out there styling it up with the lower horsepower cars, just driving door to door and having fun. Um, it, what, what most people are really doing is they're building cars to match their friends at this point. So, of course, the closer cars, uh, the closer the cars are together, the better driving you get. So, you know, one person wants to drive with so per this person, another person wants to drive like a pro. So you kind of find this middle ground of these four, five, six hundred horsepower cars at the moment. Um, and you can buy, say, a Mustang or a Corvette that comes just about that horsepower from the factory. So naturally, like the 240s and all that stuff come need, need to be have that much horsepower also. Yeah. Now, we as if you want to show off the car, show what you got, but I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of hurting <laughs> right um, now. I mean, there's nothing crazy about it. It's on some DC boilers. We did a roll cage in it, do some seats. Um, it's still stock heat, stock steering wheel, stock everything. AC works. Um, it currently has an LS3 in it, uh, some heads. So that, that's pretty much it. There's nothing too special about it. See, I appreciate yours. Cause you still got AC, oh, yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> and we, we from the south. It gets fucking hot, <laughs> so having AC is quite nice. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I drive it to work, and I drive it home. I drive to the grocery store. Like this is this is still a street car for me. Nice, nice. That's 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 actually very respectable to have. Well, when it works, that's really <laughs> dope to have. To be able to rip it at the track and like, all right, I gotta go home. I gotta go get some Popeyes and this, you know, gotta go to bed and just drive it up. I drove it to Walmart earlier today and uh, got a little grocery run, so it works. Nice. Thanks. Well, I appreciate your time. Oh, but people, we're not done. We're not done. It's... Don't don't run away. Don't run away. 
Don't don't hide. You in blue. You in the sky. I don't know why I said any of that. I apologize to everyone for that awful rhyme. That was tragic. I'm surprised I'm not been sniped yet. But anyways, introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Greg Kimotek. I'm out of Houston, Texas as well. And uh, I drive a 91 240SX with a 5.7 meter V8 LS power. Ah, yes. The LS swap that every drifter, like, oh, everyone LS swap. It makes easy power. It's easy to find parts. It's a dope engine. And from yours, it makes a beautiful sound. <laughs> And I'm gonna ask you the same question. What got you into drifting? Uh, I think I just started from like videos and stuff from, like way back in the day when I was younger and I just kind of saw drifting. I always liked cars growing up too, as a kid. And uh, once I saw like drifting, I was like, oh dang, I love these cars. Japanese cars, and going sideways. And it requires a little more skill than just jumping a ton of money out here. So you come out with 100 horsepower or 1,000 horsepower, you can come out and have fun. Yeah. So what, what what inspires you to drift? What, what what are there any influences, any drivers, any tracks you would like to go to? Um, definitely Formula Drift is like a big influence. It's super cool, lots of power, lots of smoke, but like I wish I could be at that level, but my puck's not that deep. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I feel this. I feel this. Do so you want to show off the car a little bit? Yeah, sure. It's uh, nothing. It's just a, a pure barrel 240. Everything custom done. Uh, actually, the Torres Racing family uh, built the car back in Houston, and they do great work. And they have this engine dialed down uh, perfectly. I'm very. I have like little minor issues, but it's, it's been rocking. It has 400 wheel horsepower, 400 torque, and no complaints so far. Oh, you got a perfect horse pork. What? Horse pork. Uh, horse pork. Horse pork. Yeah. Perfect, perfect horsepower and torque. Exactly. Horse pork. I actually have like six or seven more torque than horsepower, but it's uh, really good. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, the engine is super simple and like I said, there's cool horse things to play. I came from doing a four cylinder turbo, what about this? Actually, my other car had 40 more torque than this car does, but I haven't had to fix anything. See, that's that's the key. It's not this. He doesn't have the same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do so far. Not on wood, so. <laughs> what is there anything you want to plug? Any medias? Any sponsors? Uh, no sponsors except for Rents, but he helps me out a lot. Uh, he does some good work. And uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Greg.Kimotech. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Greg. Thank you, respect, and thank you also, the IT spider. You, you just, you were just here. I'm the assistant to the assistant regional manager thank for this you. guy. There uh, you go. You got time. Getting, getting everything done. I came all the way from Florida to help my boy out. <laughs> but he needed a tech crew, so came out just did my thing and just keep supporting him all the way through. There you go. So support, support, support your support, friends. Support. Keep drifting fun, everybody. Don't do drugs. Yes, don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs>